Hey guys, Gary J here. Just want to show you the latest mod to the SRT8. What I did, you may be able to see it already, is replace the hood decal and the bumper decal where this uh, little ram emblem is. And uh, I had White Tiger Graphics, Greg and his uh, crew over there do this job and they did a fantastic job. They're located in Martinez, Georgia. And uh, this is a high quality uh, carbon fiber decal. A lot better than what the factory had on these cars right here. And give you an idea of what this carbon fiber looks like. Kind of a close up. You can feel it. It's, it's got a rough feel to it because it's really textured. I mean, it's just a really high quality uh, carbon fiber type decal. So, I don't think we can find a better one than that. Uh, he had to take the old decal off and the one off the bumper right here, which is separate. And uh, he had to cut out, he had a sheet, I don't know if it's like four, four foot tall roll of carbon fiber. He had to cut it out, the decals for it. And he did that precision with it. The lines here are all perfect through there. He's been doing it for like 25 years. I was worried about when he put this carbon fiber decal on, whether or not it was so black that uh, it would kind of just kind of fade into the black uh, paint itself. You wouldn't be able to see it that well. But uh, I talked to him and uh, he told me he did something to it, but he didn't tell me what it was. He said, you'll see it when you get here. And uh, what he had done is put this red pin line, uh, red stripe um, on the edge of it. And uh, I think that really set it off. They have this pinstripe red going up through here. Now I would not have liked it through the center. I didn't. I didn't like the idea of one going through the center. Uh, I've seen. I've seen those before. I like this right here. So the stripe here with this particular one. This is a limited edition um, uh, SRT. A lot of times you see the stripe. It'll go all the way straight down across the bumper. I didn't want that either. Uh, but this is the way it came originally. You can't buy the decal kit from Chrysler for the original anymore. Um, they don't have them. It's, that's one thing I learned about it. But I think this kind of really set it off. Uh, and this is give you an idea if you decide to go with a, a new carbon fiber decal for your Challenger or even if your Challenger doesn't have one at all. You might like this really high quality uh, 3D type of carbon fiber. Again, it's got a rough texture to it and it feels great. And I like the, the red pinstripe because it kind of goes with the SRT8, the 8 there that's red on it. And the red Brembo brakes right here and the red badge right here, six point liter Hemi. Kind of matches all of that together. And so, to me it really really looks good and you can really see it with the red pinstripe that attracts your eye to the stripe itself. I like stripes on the on the trunk. I had a 70 and 72 SS Chevelle that has stripes on the trunk and I kind of wanted those back and I've had muscle cars with louvers so that's why I like the Lambo louvers that I put on. I got a video on that. But this is the, the stripes he put here on the carbon fiber, which he cut out of the same roll of carbon fiber uh, that he has. And he put the pin stripes on each side, the red one. And I had this one. I told him I only wanted the stripes to go to the end of the trunk. And that's where they stop at the end of the trunk right there. It doesn't go down to the bumper like you see some of them. I just wanted to the end of the trunk. And look how well that looks. Again, that's really stands out. The factory decal, um, on a scale of one to 10, is about a four. This right here is a 10 out of 10. You see it in person. But I think it work, looks good with the louvers too. 
and I want you to see uh, how that looks on your Challenger. If your Challenger doesn't have any decal kits on it or something like that, you might consider this as an alternative. Looks pretty good to me. And uh, these places can do all kinds of decals down the side of the vehicle and all of that too. So you can kind of create any design you want. That's a pretty gazebo in the back. One thing to look at too, uh, when you have somebody that does graphics, uh, design and stuff like that in these decals, on this right here, they take, this right here is what sprays water onto your windshield. They take this off they put the decal over it and they make a little hole and put this back on so it's flush all the way around here. You can't see. Uh, most of the time they have to cut out. A lot of places have it cut out around it. Doesn't look that great. The other thing too, when you have graphic designers and people like that put decals on, like this emblem right here, some of them are cut out way up here around here and they're kind of uneven. This right here is really tight around the emblem here. And uh, just looks really good to me. So I think he did a great job. I appreciate Greg and uh, White Tiger Graphics for uh, doing this job for me. Now the price of all of this was uh, $400. That's for taking the original decal off, the one off the bumper, and then hand cutting out uh, the decal here to go on the car, and then putting that on. And you got to really know what you're doing to put these decals on. And uh, I, don't, I forgot what the cost was for the decal material, but again, it's super high quality decal carbon fiber type, uh, kind of a 3D look to it. And uh, for the two stripes on the trunk, the two stripes on the trunk and putting those on was only, uh, only charged me 50 bucks for that, which I thought was really reasonable. And those stripes on the trunk, now the, you don't have stripes going over the top of the car like most of them. I didn't want that, just the ones on the trunk. So $430 altogether. So they turned out really good, I think. So I uh, just want to share that with you. If you're thinking about doing something like that with uh, your Challenger, I think you'll really, uh, really enjoy that. But it does stand out really well, a lot better than I thought it would. And the reason for, for that is because of the red pinstripe and uh, just a, a great experience with these people. Well, I hope that this helps you if you decide to put, put the uh, decals on the front of your car because Chrysler doesn't have the original decals. I, I looked into that. They didn't have the original decals uh, that came on these cars. This is a limited, this is a limited edition type car. And... Uh, so you can't get the original anymore. You can, so you got to go with a aftermarket one. I went with one aftermarket type, and it was pretty much worthless. It, it was not any good that particular one, and had to take that. They had to take that one off, and then he had this high quality material here, and uh, he put that on. So I'm real pleased with it. Just a little FYI. Thanks for watching, guys. Gary J.